so hello people of the internet today i'm back again with another helpful video about the marshall emberton speaker battery problem so thanks for all the support for the previous video that you watched on the sony led tv which has the blinking red light problem uh, if you want to watch that video i've kept it right here in the i button you can click it and watch so right now we have a problem where uh, the marshall speaker was powered on it was charged fully and then when we try to play some music in moderate or uh, high volume the speaker would just abruptly turn off so on researching some articles on the internet we found out that this might be a power issue and that the battery might be the actual problem so here as you can see this is what this is the original battery from marshall its capacity is about 2680 milliamp hours and uh, i searched on amazon uh, right about uh, for the similar battery and uh, we did get uh, a battery which is 3400 milliamp hours capacity so it's higher than this you also have a similar capacity but you can choose i'll be sure to leave the image of this battery and also the link in the description so you can check it and buy it so, so what we what i did is i ordered this battery on amazon as i said and then uh, i try to put this battery in its case so we have a battery case right here uh, where it screws up as you can see here there are three screws that screws and then you put the battery case inside so the problem that i faced is that the new battery has a bit of a bulge because the wire goes all the way inside there and there was a bit of a bulge there so it the, these wires were not able to come through this hole if you can see a bit closely there's a slight gap here that they have given so where this battery the the marshall's original one just fits very snug through that hole and then comes out whereas this is not able to so since that is an issue i am not able to put the cover for this so a work around for this is just i've just taped the battery so you can just put it here and then just have the bottom piece and then tape the battery so this should hold it from moving right so the first thing we're going to do is um, as you can see the components here the battery goes inside the case here this is the battery we have a left speaker here and as you can see here this is the motherboard of the speaker and these this is the uh, right hand side speaker or the front speaker as you can see so we have two slots here one for the front and one for the back speaker to fit and we also have a slot behind the motherboard where we the uh, battery connector fits as well as you can see so what i'm first going to do is that now that i have taped this battery up nice so i'm just going to put it here in this Uh, gap it's going to be fixed nice and snug so it doesn't move as you can see and then we're going to need a set of tools so basically i've got this uh, nice handy set of screw drivers that we have because the screws in this marshall are not your usual uh, star shaped like this one right this is a proper star shaped screw driver but it's not that we also have a different kind of a uh, screw here so you need one of the it's kind of a five star pattern So that's the kind of a screwdriver you need in order to fit it this and then screw it up. So with the right tools, you'll be able to screw this up and then make sure the battery is in place. Let me just quickly do that. So the battery box is fixed pretty tight here. Next thing, what we're going to do is that we're going to take the the motherboard. and then underneath as you can see this battery connector basically connects right it connects this way and then you're just going to place the motherboard on top so let me first do the connection just make sure that you're very careful so that the pin does not break and you're able to easily slide it in so i'm just going to do that try doing that right now and make sure it's in the right direction the hole is here so you'll have to put the pin very carefully inside like this this way yes yeah so just nicely make sure it's snug and just fits in really easy right it just slides in and just make sure it's tight and it doesn't come out right yeah so now once that is set what we're going to do is we're just going to twist this like that and then make sure the motherboard sits perfectly inside 
So if you come a bit closer, sorry, just a second. You can see that there are grooves here, right? So there's one here, there's one here, and there's also a pin basically under under this that has to go on this part. So this pin, which is there's also another board here. So these two basically just click like that. And if you can see it properly, I'm not doing a very good job of showing it, but yeah. So what you can do is first put this in the right way. Make sure it fits. It fits in a snug way. So I'm just going to take this wire out from here. As you can see, there are pointers here, right? That you can just push this in. And I'm also going to this part. I'm just going to put it here on the top. So this is basically the buttons that you have on the top, right? So you have screws here that you can remove at the start, and then you'll have to remove these screws for the speaker, and then that shows you the motherboard, and then you remove some screws in the motherboard. So I'll just be showing it to you right now. And then you take out the battery. So I'm just going to put it all in the same place. So I'm going to push it here. So can you see this? these stems are just coming in and getting pushed in. Uh, so I'm just going to a bit more effort to check yeah so one two and then three so these are the places where it goes and also make sure the the pin here is you just press a bit on this part so that the pins with this component are also fixed because that's how these boards kind of join and then once you're done with that you'll again have to screw these up as you can see there's a screw image that's put all here so i'm just going to take the rest of the screws and then quickly just screw this up. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, so this connector for the front speaker is already connected. It's the same clip type, you just have to push it in. Similarly for the rear, I'm just going to push this in as well. And then we're just gonna close this up. So before we screw all of this back, we're just gonna power it on by long pressing and then just checking if it powers up so that we know it works. Yeah, so as you can see, we get a four indicator light and uh, I guess it has to be pad. So we'll do the testing at the last, but this shows that the, all the components are fixed properly and the power is properly connected. So the next thing what we can do is, as I said, close this up. And then we have a set of screws here in order to put it these places. So let me quickly do that as well. So once you set all these screws, the last uh, we also have, okay, let me just turn this off. So we have these set of screws to put, so the last set of screws here. Okay, so once these screws are put, we have two more steps, the last, so we'll have to put the, the Marshall, uh, these cages, the, the speaker cage, one on the front, one on the back. So how do you know which comes at the front? So the one with the logo it has to come where the light indicator is to the right of you, right? So this is how it looks. So all you have to do is just push it in and then there is a nice foam padding here. Just slowly push it in on all sides. It just clicks very neatly. And the same thing goes about here. So you don't even have to open the back side, even though there are screws, you don't have to do it. You just have to open, you know, the two mesh and then these screws. And then as I showed you, uh, the, sp the speaker, only the front speaker screws you'll have to open and then get into the motherboard. So I'll push this in as well. Yeah, so the speaker's all set. And then we have the final sleeve here that we can also put it in. Sure it just click and then 
until it fits in a smug way. Yeah. And there's your Marshall speaker, M button that's all assembled with the battery changed. So let's just test this and see if the speaker, uh, you know, uh, plays good music. So I'm just turning it on. With chakra based meditation. quality is pretty good uh, now all you have to do is charge up the speaker and then test whether uh, you know it continues playing uh, for the entire uh, for a few hours instead of just cutting off hopefully the battery chain should have fixed it so i'll add all the respective links especially for the battery and you know for the, the picture of the battery and where we got it from and all those things so i hope this helps you to fix your marshall so let me know in the comments if there is anything you want, uh, you don't understand, you want help with, and I'll be sure to leave a uh, reply comment for that as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.